Hey, I'm Joe Connolly. Just like we talk about every day on the radio on WCBS, every industry is changing. Everywhere we look, technology is changing all aspects of our lives, including how we consume energy. And just like all other companies, Con Edison is giving customers more information and more options, more choices. And with me today is Tom McGee, Con Edison's general manager of their advanced metering infrastructure team to tell us about the innovations and all that we can learn about reducing electric bills through our smart meter. The smart meter program is an example of how Con Edison is leveraging technology to improve our customer service and provide customers with the information they need. Now, smart meter program gives customers what types of information? So with the program itself, customers will actually be able to see their consumption and power over the previous hour, what they've actually used. And that could be either from a computer or from your uh, smartphone. And they can actually elect to get alerts if their usage is more for that month than they originally anticipated. So before the bill actually comes to the customers, the customers can actually get an alert and actually take corrective action to reduce consumption so they don't have a high bill. So this is all part of the program. A lot, you know, again, a, a significant part of this program and the benefits that we're realizing for this program is really customer-driven benefits. And they can save money with this information how? Well, there's a couple of different ways. First off, with this information, Con Edison is going to be able to operate the electric system in a much more efficient manner. We'll have view of the voltage at each of our customers' endpoints, and we'll be able to slightly reduce the voltage on the grid. That will actually reduce the amount of power that our consumers need to consume for a certain load. There's also going to be additional uh, programs that get rolled out where customers can actually participate in what demand response programs, and they'll actually get paid for actually reducing power during peak periods of the day on very hot days. I saw a list of all of the different ways that smarter meters help the environment and traffic congestion and everything else. Well, again, so customers are no longer going to have the inconvenience of a Con Ed meter reader coming to read the meter at 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning. So we'll see a large reduction in the amount of vehicle rolls necessarily to, to read the meters. Right? In addition to that, again, the conservation voltage optimization, being able to slightly adjust the voltage level on the grid will be a tremendous environmental benefit. And, and with the smart meter itself, right, it, it will enable us to integrate solar and other, other distributed resources into the grid more efficiently. Will these new meters also even smell gas? Not the meters, right? So as part of this program, right, Con Edison is actually has partnered with two vendors to actually develop the first-of-a-kind integrated natural gas detector. And we're going to pilot a program later this year in Westchester in New York City where we're going to install these meters, uh, these, these what they call natural gas detectors. With that, we'll get notified as soon as that detector senses gas, right, and we can send our folks out to address the issue right away. What are you working on next for smart meters? So I'll tell you right now, we actually started the program, the deployment of meters uh, back about a year ago in Staten Island and Westchester. And we actually started the deployment of meters in Brooklyn in April and Manhattan in July. At our peak, uh, we're expected to install about 5,000 meters a day. What else will they do for the customer that is just yeah. around the corner? So I think, uh, the, number one, customers having access uh, to their real-time usage is going to change their behaviors, right? right. Uh, the other thing is we get immediate notification if a customer loses power. We don't have that capability with all of our, with a majority of our other meters. So when a customer is out of power, we will get a notification, and that should help us restore that customer's power quicker. The other thing is, uh, with the meters itself, the meters, residential meters have a disconnect switch so that when customer needs service, we can remotely energize that service, right? So if someone moves into an apartment and doesn't have service, we'll be able to remotely activate that account. So we think that the, the AMI project or the smart meter project will transform Con Edison in more ways over the next five years and 195 year history. It's the largest single capital project in the company's history. It's about about $1.3 billion. With this application, we have improved customer service.